epoxy fiberglass. On top is the 10 inch plexiglass dome for the camera. Attached at the front are fog lights which enable Turtle to see at night. Now over here are all the wireless components attached to quarter inch thick plexiglass. On top we have the Axis 207 megapixel IP camera with wired to the router, the Linksys router with new DDWRT firmware set up as a bridge between this router and the wireless internet router. Now the Linksys router is connected to the QBlock microcontroller with the Maxport server. This is in turn connected to the QBlock relay output card. All these components are powered by the 12 volt DC gel battery. Now this body, this battery also enables the turtle to move by powering two Lisan motors with 350 inch pounds of torque. Now this axle from a go-kart turns 16 inch tractor tires from Northern Tool and Supply. This is Max Port's downloading software. It'll go out and find the Maxport server that's on the QBlock microcontroller. Push search. It's actually finding two of the same addresses because I'm using a router bridge. So it's seeing the Maxport from the bridge and it's seeing it from the router that we're talking to. This is the QBlock programming software for the microcontroller. The neat thing about this software is you can program in basic and ladder at the same time. So for the commands I need to be scanning every tenth of a second or hundredth of a second and react to, we, we use the ladder logic. And then the more sophisticated commands, we'll use the basic logic. Both are running simultaneously. Here we are connected to the QBlock microcontroller. This is going to my computer and the Max port is going over here to the Linksys router, which is bridged to a router, a wireless router that's on our home network. And I want to download, I simply assemble the program and it downloads. And then this is a, this program's a debug terminal it's right now. Need I'm just a reading. charging station or a docking station, if you will. So at the moment I'm testing this 2 amp charger from Black & Decker with all the components running because this car is going to be located a thousand miles from the control point. There's nobody at that location, only a wireless internet access. So we need to keep it running at all times so I can remain in contact. This is Turtle and his headlights. It can be operated at day or night. Controls go. This is a Visual Basic program. I can disconnect, connect to the microcontroller. This is the IP address that we found using the Maxport download software. I got forward, reverse commands. We have a horn. Rotate left, rotate, rotate right. We select how far we want to rotate and how far we want the car to travel. You know, since it's going to be located a thousand miles from the control.